So uh, Alex is on day two of trying to check into the Bahamas with their click to clear that's meant to make everything easy. Yeah, this is so not convenient. I'm usually pretty good with technology. I mean, we make money with technology, but it just keeps crashing on me, jamming. I've had to re-upload our information way too many times. And I'm talking with someone, but he's not really helping me much. And so anyways, I think we're just gonna sell over there because at this rate, we're gonna show up in the Bahamas in I don't know how long because I'm just, it's not working. We did apply though for the travel health visa. That went all pretty good. Just missed some information with the, our little five month old because she doesn't have, she doesn't need the vaccine or test. So there's an option for exemption and then you don't have to upload any information. So now we, all three of us have our travel health visa. It was $40 for me, 40 for Corey, and free of charge for our little one. And I think we're gonna check in when we get there. Let's do that, let's get going. Welcome to Wally Intrepid. I'm Alex. And this is Corey. Three years ago, we sailed south from Canada as newbie sailors. Now we share our love of travel with our baby girl Coral as we explore new areas of the Bahamas. Join us for our weekly adventure. Well, we're off! Uh... Kind of got stuck doing all the check-in and stuff, so we're waiting on the bridge. Just wanted to cross the bridge because it opens on the quarter and three-quarter hour. And uh, yeah, anyway, let's get going. Ah, this is exciting! Last bridge! Hopefully, anyways. Coral, oh, my love, you'll be okay. We just gotta get the sails up, okay? Ah, this is so wonderful. Finally, not hearing the sound with the engine. I mean, it's good to have an engine, but not hearing it is just pure bliss. So we are on southern Florida towards Angelfish Cut, that's south of Miami, and then we're gonna cut across the Gulf Stream, trying to catch the switchy wind, and get across to Bimini. <laughs> so sorry about the shaky footage, the thing's really far away, but what the heck is that floating above the boat? <laughs> they have balloons, and there's quite a few of them out there. They don't get what they're for though. Alright, so it's for these fishermen. Not sure exactly what they're doing with it, but we almost ran into it, so it's a good thing Alex noticed it last minute. How's life, Captain? Oh, it's such a beautiful sail. We got pretty much, I'd say, five to max 15 knot winds right out of the east with, I don't know, maybe two to four foot chop with the odd maybe six to eight foot roller if you're really pushing it. But you know how it is, you always overestimate. But yeah, there's a few, few big ones that come by, but really, it's really quite comfortable. Um, the only tricky part is when the wind gets really light, it's tricky to stay uh, the 180, sorry, the 190 degrees that we want to stay to not go too far from the coast to avoid staying in, out of the Gulf Stream and maybe even staying close enough to the coast to catch the counter current, which I'm not 100% sure, but I think we caught it and then got out of it. But anyway, yeah, it's good fun. We're doing a uh, good time. Coral wants to put her life jacket, I think. We were about to do our very first overnight sail of the season, and with a five-month-old baby. 
I was a little nervous, but I didn't quite expect it to go the way it did. Oh, I was gonna get her oh. doing her hiccups. <laughs> the hiccup cry. It's not the very hiccups. fun, eh? Hiccups suck. It's kind of funny, my first time sailing of the season, I end up driving at night. Because I've been taking care of coral during the daytime. So, and we don't have the full moon, but we've got the city lights of Florida. <laughs> it's two in the morning. We're just passing Miami now. Uh, While well, we passed the inland anyway. And now we're heading down to Angelfish Cut area anyway. Still got a ways to go before we can turn east, which is kind of good because I think we're a little ahead of schedule for the wind shift. But it's been a really nice sail. I'm really sleepy though, so I'm excited to uh, get off watch soon and switch it up with Alex. And we got a few, I don't know. Three, four hours before daylight. It's always nice when you get the sunrise. Well, it's about 6.30 in the morning. I don't think I've slept at all yet. Um, the swell is starting to get pretty big as we're making our way out closer to the Gulf Stream. But now that we've made ourselves, we've made it south enough, roughly to the point where we want to, anyway. I am so tired I can't even think, but we're ready to turn east, so we're going to do an attack and hopefully we'll be pointing in an okay direction. Let's see how it goes. Well, this is a terrible take angle. We're pretty much just backtracking right now. Well, the wind hasn't shifted yet. So we'll try motoring for a bit, see if we can get a better angle. Well, uh, that didn't work at all. We tacked, we are going almost dead north. Anyway, the wind switch shift has not happened yet, which I kind of knew, but I was hoping maybe we'd be able to catch a little bit and still be able to make it over. But we're gonna have to wait till 10 at the earliest, one at the latest. So we'll just keep sailing south a little bit. It'll give us a better angle on the wind anyway and a better angle on the waves as well because even when the wind shifts, the waves are going to be right on our nose. How's it going, sweetie? Much better. Poor little girls this morning. I mean, when we got into heading towards the Bahamas, we've been beating a little bit more in the waves and they didn't quite sit well with her. So she just, she was sick. She threw up a little. Yeah, yeah it wasn't uh, fun, eh? Ah, she's doing good. Well, sailing with the baby is uh, it's very different for passages. Corey and I both haven't slept that much. I slept a little more than Corey because she's she's doing good, but she needs me to be right next to her. She's, I think she's feeling a little bit insecure. So, well, it makes sense. Look at us yeah. bouncing around everywhere. I'd be insecure too. So uh, I've, been, I've been downstairs with her for most of the night while Corey ended up driving a big chunk of it. Okay. I think she's ready to get across though. Her first sail is uh, a long one and not the most comfortable one. So we're motoring roughly at like 60 degrees. Ideally, I'd be closer to 90, 85 or something so that we don't go too far north 
um, but this is the only angle we can go with the waves and with the wind. We want to leave out a little bit of sail for stability, so we got just our main out. We're currently cruising, well the last time I looked at it we were cruising at 8 knots, so I think we're already in the Gulf Stream. It's a little sporty right now. <laughs> uh, I think we're just hitting the stronger current in the Gulf. We're going, uh, well I saw like 8.5. Um, so right now we're trying to head east. We still have east wind, we haven't caught the shift yet. So we're going like 60 degrees. So more north than I'd like, but we got all sails up and it's allowing me to kind of weave in between the bigger waves and try to not slam the bow too hard. That's the plan anyway. But we're gonna definitely end up more north, I think. Well, we'll see. We're cruising across the Gulf Stream, so we're definitely not gonna have as much drift. Without my love for the ocean I will be long gone by now It's some kind of devotion So I feel like I'm trying to refuel a plane in midair by trying to get a snack in between the waves. Yum. So this is my little tent to breastfeed girl. I'm going to seat above us for shade and trying to bed this little one and drink because she's thirsty and she's doing way better, right? Hey, one more. Land ho! Bahamas! You having fun? Yeah? It's my first time holding coral this whole trip, I think. We've, I've been uh, pretty preoccupied with managing the boat mostly, and Alex has been on coral duty and uh, helping me out whenever I need it. But we're so close, we're like four nautical miles away. We're finally just getting out of the Gulf Stream. It's amazing how close the Gulf Stream is to Bimini. I'm pretty sure it like runs right by it. Like, I mean, we're still in it a little bit. We're still slowing down. We're still a little slow going slightly south, but uh, it's way better than it was. And Coral's so excited not to be in the waves anymore. Poor little one, she was a little sick, but she's doing great now. Hey, okay. you done steering? You're not a very good autopilot. It was time to hoist the quarantine flag and hope that our checking into the Bahamas would go without any hiccups. I was so relieved to be almost there after 31 long hours and 152 nautical miles with a seasick baby. That's calling Big M, uh, go ahead. That's calling Big M, come back. Woohoo! <laughs> so exciting! I see the bottom. <laughs> Uh, 15, 15 feet, and it's so calm. So excited for a nice night of sleep. I'm pretty sure I've been up for roughly 36 hours. <laughs> uh, food and sleep. Is it 
Good morning. Good morning. Well, the sun just came up. I, uh, I was getting pretty frustrated because, well, I mean, I got plenty of sleep because I went to bed at like <laughs> eight o'clock or something like Seven. that. Seven. <laughs> Seven o'clock, so even worse. But um, I woke up at two and I couldn't fall asleep again. The boat's just been ah, all over the place. The wind completely died, so we're not facing anything consistently. And I mean, we're not the only boat, but I think we're the worst boat. Not anymore, because I decided to dig out everything out of the settee in the back and grab the stern anchor and set it up. Instead of being mad about it, it's a lot easier to just deal with it and do something about it, because me being mad about it isn't going to make things any better. But uh, yeah, I got plenty of sleep, even though I haven't slept since two, because we went to bed so early. That was kind of like we were all night. Well, from two from two to five. Wow. Yeah, it really gives you some perspective when you're not on the boat that's moving. Hi. Good morning, gorgeous. How are you this morning? She's like, I slept good. I you did. Up. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Rainbow straight ahead. We're on the beach. Woohoo! Carl's third country. And she's only five months old. So we just came into the beach on North Bimini. And I'm gonna walk across to the customs office. Hopefully get us all checked in and good to carry on more south. Okay. Welcome to the Bahamas! We finally made it in. Bit of a process. You first have to go to the police department to do your custom stuff. And then they sent you over to Big Game Club. So that here you can do all the immigration paperwork which I'm so happy I actually filled up the click to clear even though I had a lot of trouble because once I got here everything was already in the system I only had to do payments, sign a couple of little things and we are good! Ooh, it's heavy! <laughs> hey! Did you have a good nap? She's like, I'm still asleep. <laughs> but now I actually have to go back to customs because she doesn't know when we actually have to do the COVID test because everything changes on a daily basis. So let's go back to the police department and then we're gonna go get a SIM card at BTC. Let's do this. Let's go. <laughs> 